And coming in at number four tonight, getting around Metro Detroit, going to be a nightmare on Elm Lane. A battle is brewing between neighbors over who's responsible for fixing a street now underwater. The argument is between neighbors on Elm Lane and on the other side of the canal. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper live in Harrison Township tonight with more on this. Rudy. Glenda, it's a complicated situation here. About 20 families live down Elm Lane. I can tell you at the end of that road is a dead end. I want to show you the temporary solution right now is these sandbags here, but this canal could rise six to eight inches in the next month, which means these homeowners may not have access to their homes. We don't have any animosity towards our neighbors on the other side here. Longtime Harrison Township resident Tom Bagnasco is worried about access to his home on Elm Lane. The easement has completely eroded after the seawall collapsed. Now a good portion of the guardrail is underwater. Bagnasco says it's crucial they fix the problem soon. We just expect them to do uh, what they should be doing and or the state, whoever is responsible. Tom and his Fresh Air Park subdivision neighbors are now suing the Point Rosa Homeowners Association, people he says they see every day. The lawsuit filed in circuit court in Macomb County claims Point Rosa failed to maintain the seawall, causing damage to the road and making it inaccessible to emergency vehicles. Can a fire truck get down this road at this point? Today they can. We invited Ken Verquez, the township supervisor, to come out and look at the damage. We'll get through it, but yeah, yeah, it keeps you up at night. This is. This is, you know, it's getting worse. Verquez says four decades ago, in 1975, a judge ruled the seawall and five-foot easement was a responsibility of Point Rosa homeowners. In this case, the state of Michigan owns that five-foot piece, which just cloudies the discussion because, well, then maybe the state has to do it. Well, we all want the government to kick in, but we know from prior rulings that that wall is determined to be maintained by this neighborhood. Meanwhile, Bagnasco says the easement has been neglected for years. I think it's putting a lot of families in danger here on the street. Oh, it's a frog. Uh, to, to fix the problem, some here say it could cost up to $250,000. We reached out to the attorney for Point Rosa subdivision. We have not heard back. The two groups plan to sit down and talk this one out. Live in Harrison Township, Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right, Rudy, thank you for the live report there. We'll continue to follow it. As